Hello, hello. So I was guided to jump on and do some group healing work. So here I am. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to do group healing today. If any codes come in, I will do those as well. But I'm just being guided to come in and do healing work for everybody. Anybody who needs it, anybody who wants it. So just bring in this energy of just love and just start clearing and just adding love. I feel like so many people just need extra energy. I was just in the middle of meditation. They're like, you need to go live. So hello, hello. Hi. Welcome, welcome. So grateful you guys are here. We're just doing healing work today. I'm just in a meditation. I said, come on and do healing work for everybody. So <clears throat> we're going to sit. We're going to pull into the, the zero to seven reconnection to our inner child. So we're actually just going to jump in and start. If you feel anybody you know could use this, we're going to just start. Share it out to them. And let's start diving in to that inner child that just needs us so, so much. So if you want to just close your eyes or just imagine your younger self, that infant child. What did you experience as that infant? Maybe you don't even remember. Maybe it's just you have this inkling of something is off. And what does that look like to come in with that little one and just embrace them and hold them and let them know that you're going to be there with them. And that you're willing to help them take away all this pain that they feel. And what does it feel like just to say, I forgive everything that transpired when I was that infant? Just bringing in that absolute unconditional love. And let's just disconnect anything you're holding from somebody else from that age that maybe you don't even know that you're holding. So we're just going to disconnect all those cords to people and emotions there we go. Situations and circumstance that we don't even know. We're just going to release those now. Oh, I'm just going to I'm just going to throw up a grid and I'm just going to shift the grid as we go. And let's just bring anywhere that our parents maybe had a play in this and we didn't even know. We're just going to release that back. I disconnect this and I send it back. Good morning, good morning. We're doing a zero to seven reconnection and healing this morning or this afternoon. You're so welcome. And just send that little one just absolute love. Anywhere that your baby self maybe didn't get the love that you thought you needed, you felt maybe abandoned. Let's just add in that unconditional love to that baby self. And then let's step forward to our one-year-old self. What are you holding from one years old? Do you remember a circumstance or a situation from when you were one? Good. Do you remember something that didn't feel right? Are you holding anything in your cell body or your etheric body from one years old that needs to be released? Where do you need to embrace that one-year-old self? Where do you need to give that one-year-old self a hug? Why don't you let that one-year-old self know that you're going to take care of her? You're going to watch over her, him? You don't have to be able to remember, Rick. Just allow it to show up in your mind's eye or in your heart space. Just feel into it. Feel that sense on your body. What does this feel like to be one? What does it feel like to bring your old one-year-old self into your mind's eye? What does it feel like to disconnect anything that doesn't resonate anymore? Maybe there's something at one years old that you don't remember, that you're blocking yourself from remembering. What if you just disconnect the emotions to one years old? Disconnect all of the health issues at one years old, the need for attention at one years old. And what does it feel like to bring in absolute love for that one year old self? What, it, what would it look like for you to tell your one year old self that you absolutely love them 100% unconditionally? No condition, no judgment, no expectation. And 
just to add absolute love. Give them a hug. And what does it feel like to come into that two-year-old self? What happened to two-year-old that makes your heart so heavy or your shoulders so heavy where you carry the burdens? Anywhere you had to leave home at two years old. Anywhere you feel like you didn't fit in at two years old. And what does it feel like just to disconnect from everybody else's energy and emotions? Disconnect from the cir circumstances and situations that you experienced at that age. What does it feel like to bring in forgiveness for the people around you that maybe didn't know those things either? And what does it feel like to bring in absolute unconditional love for that two-year-old self? And let's collapse time between the two-year-old self and the one that's now. The one where you feel like you're separate from that. to feel like just to let go and allow yourself to embrace that two-year-old self give that that two-year-old self so much love compassion and understanding and what does it feel like to breathe into that that absolute love that unconditional love? breathe into it and breathe in with love i love my younger self doesn't matter what happened it's time for forgiveness and love and healing I'm just going to do some light coat healing at the same time. Just bring in that absolute love. And let's go into that three-year-old self. Maybe you had fear at three. Maybe there was this, I don't fit in, and shame and judgment from others. Maybe your family didn't want you or pushed you away. You didn't feel loved. What does it feel like to want to be shifted? What does it feel like it wants to be loved by? Where can you reassure you that three-year-old self that you love them unconditionally? Hi from Canada. I'm from Canada too. Welcome everybody. What do you need to understand about this three-year-old? Are they looking for nurture? Are they looking for understanding? Are they looking for joy? What part of you needs to forgive that part of your past and just allow the healing to come in? And just bring in the forgiveness of those other people. Bring in the forgiveness of everything that transpired between you and somebody else, seen and unseen. Disconnecting all the cords What does it feel like to have understanding and compassion? And let's bring forward that four-year-old self that needs to be reconnected to you from things seen and unseen, known and unknown, consciously and unconsciously. Bring forward that four-year-old self Allow yourself to have that conversation with that four-year-old self. Allow yourself to understand where that four-year-old self needed you most of all back then, but you weren't able to help them. Excuse me. Where can you disconnect from other people's emotions and energies? I disconnect from this, this emotion, this circumstance. I disconnect and I send it back. And where do you need to bring in absolute unconditional love for this four-year-old self who's just crying out for you, who needs you so, so much? And where do you just need to bring in that absolute love? Tell them that you understand what they're going through. At four years old, it's tough. The world is so big at four years old. 
Where can you just give them compassion and understanding? Let them know that it's okay. Let them know that it's going to get better and easier and that you'll have your stumbling blocks, but it's going to be okay. And let's collapse the timelines and bring in pure, absolute love and energy to heal that younger soul. And let's allow everything to be removed that doesn't need to be there. And give that little one a hug. Bring that little one right into you. Allow it to integrate into you. There you go. And let's go into the five-year-old self. Where's the trauma at five? Not good enough. A fear of starting school. A fear of not being good enough. Not smart enough. Not enough for your parents. Where do you need to show that five-year-old self that it's okay to have those feelings and emotions? And that five-year-old self needs to understand that you've been there the whole time to help them and that you're sorry that you didn't stand up for yourself sooner. You're sorry that you, know, you were left to feel like you weren't good enough, smart enough, pretty enough. Where do you need to bring that forgiveness in to somebody else? I forgive those people for helping me to see that. I forgive those situations and circumstances and allowing yourself to become reconnected to that five-year-old self with understanding and compassion. I forgive myself for taking this all on and thinking it's mine to hold. And just allow the energy of the heaviness to be released. All those extra blocks and sacks and you know, cargo that you think you need to carry as a child. Allow them to just be removed and left behind. Take the backpack off that five-year-old child. They don't need to carry it anymore. Just like you don't need to carry it anymore. And where can you just bring in that absolute love for that little one? Tell them how much you love them how much you want to be with them and how much you want to show them the way. And bringing in that absolute unconditional love for yourself and that five-year-old self. And what about that six-year-old self? Where is your six-year-old self crying out for attention, crying out to be seen, where does that six-year-old self doesn't want to sit down and be quiet in school? That they want to be fun and enjoy life, but they're not allowed. Where does your six-year-old self need you to understand that life is about joy and compassion and having fun? And you've let that go. Where is there somebody in your life that's helping your cells hold you stuck to the past? Where do you need to disconnect from other people's emotions and energies? Disconnect it now. I disconnect these emotions that aren't mine. I disconnect these people that aren't my space. I disconnect these people who don't love me. I disconnect from the school and the system. Where do you need to bring in compassion and understanding for that six-year-old self? I know that you didn't want to do that. I know that this was tough. The abuse was tough and this was hard and I'm sorry that I wasn't there for you to protect you and hold you safe. This is a zero to seven reconnection, honey. So it's not really a meditation. It's bringing you back to your soul with love and healing. <laughs> this is doing healing for every single person who needs it. And where do you need to bring in compassion and understanding for the six-year-old self? What does it feel like just to give absolute love? Yep, you can join now. I'm going to post it out after. And where do you need to forgive yourself for not being there for yourself? For neglecting yourself? Tell yourself that you love yourself. 
I love you. You're six years old. I love you. I'm so sorry that I wasn't here before, but I'm here now. I want to hold you side by side in my heart and carry you forward and show you what it's actually like. And let's just bring a whole bunch of love right into your heart space. And allow yourself to cry if you need to cry. Allow yourself to shed those tears of not being enough for yourself. And just bring that compassion in. And release what's in the gut. If you can't remember, that's a trauma. Usually you're blocking yourself. So just allow this to help you carry it forward. You'll get the same release. And let's go into that seven-year-old self. Who do you need to forgive at seven? Whose emotions are you holding on to at seven? Bring forward that seven-year-old self and ask that seven-year-old self what she needs, he needs. I'm sorry that I wasn't there to listen to you at seven. What do you need from me now? What do you need to heal from us now? Maybe something I don't remember from my past. What is it I need to remember to heal? What is it I need to bring up and out? to be able to step forward on my journey free and clear? And what are the cords and binds that chain me to my past that I no longer want to visit? I disconnect from all the cords and binds that I chained myself to my past. I disconnect from everyone else's emotions. I disconnect from what I didn't need to take on as my own. I let go of everything I witnessed that wasn't mine to take on. And where do you need to bring in forgiveness? yourself you love yourself that you're sorry you weren't there when you were that young and you're sorry that they had to walk through this by themselves and then bring in absolute unconditional love i love you unconditionally and bring them into you incorporate them back into you become whole with yourself How do you guys feel? Do you feel somewhat reconnected back into your body? Do you feel at peace? Do you feel calm? Do you feel a release? Um, What is with these random signs you're doing? Um, The codes, you mean? You can elaborate if you want to. Like these. I just did some for today, too. So these codes are three-dimensional codes on my side. So I take the three-dimensional code and I shift timelines and collapse timelines that you don't need anymore. And so things will shift and change and I'll see your past lives or I'll see things shift out of them. That's what those are. Um, It's from something different that I learned. Um, Somebody said it was Reiki, but it's not. Um, But it's from another modality that I know, but I don't teach it and I don't actually do it the way they are teaching it. Um, This is what my guides have brought it forward. So I see three-dimensional codes all the time. The codes collapse things or bring things in. So that's what those are. That's what these codes are. If that's what you're talking about. How are you guys feeling? Feel calm. Great job. I feel release and I felt better. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. This is one of the things that I've done at the very beginning of my own journey was that zero to seven reconnection. And as you guys are going through this and I'm talking through it, like I actually do it with my coaching clients. So one of the first things I do is I sit down with them and we reconnect back to self. And you guys can do this from seven forward to where you are now. How did you learn this? Um, My guides actually showed it to me. I went through a lot of stuff when I was going through my awakening process. um, And that was one of the things they showed me. I needed to reconnect back to my little self um, and heal that. And then one of my friends said I needed to go have a burning ceremony with my, you know, the childlike self who doesn't like to go play. You know, we lose our innocence. um, And when we lose our innocence, um, we, we push everything away that's fun. How do I connect? 
to your to your younger self it's just about bringing that imagery forward your your younger selves will talk to you i can go back to my 25 year old self and say okay what happened here that i need to heal from and i can just do the healing work that way you can do the forgiveness work that way and then you can bring that in with anybody as well they do it in therapy as well yeah i don't know i've never been to therapy <laughs> got burps and Burns on my shoulders, back cuffs burning. Now I feel great. Awesome. That's amazing. Um, so Nikki says, can you help with IBS? Too much adulthood trauma. It's actually not from adulthood. You're irritated. They're showing me this came from childhood. I feel like you were forced to eat something that you didn't like. I feel like it's squash or something yellowy, orangey color. It looks gross. It looks like baby food, to be honest. So I feel like there's parts of your childhood that are related to this. And you just keep the program going. So things irritate you and you don't want to let it go. So part of this is understanding, you know, those things inside of yourself that says, you know, back at two years old, this transpired and I didn't like that. Right. And it's healing that for yourself. You know, I'm not, I'm not giving you anything that you can't do. You know, even this stuff, the three-dimensional codes, you guys can do it too. It's, you know, for me, it's just a different setup um, because that's the way I'm being shown and taught. But everybody knows all this stuff. I'm not, I'm not doing anything that's different than anything you know. It's just a remembering. Same with my quantum class. It's just a remembering because you already know it, right? So... I would, Nikki, I would look at all the things that irritate you in your life, especially when you eat. And that has to do with your childhood stuff. And, and I, I'm, I've been saying too, if you guys want to leave reviews and stuff, go ahead. Like some of the stuff that I'm doing on these lives, like people are posting in the comments saying, this is healed. This doesn't hurt anymore. This is gone. So if you guys want to share, share, like people want to hear your, your outcomes of things. Um, so someone just asked, can you help with schizophrenia and drug addiction? Yeah, those are private sessions. I'm not going to do that on the live. That was right away. They brought that in. Um, Rach C says 33 bulge disc lower back. Thank you. It's actually coming from a past life. It looks like you were in an accident and someone hit you in the back. So just bend over ever so slightly and then you'll feel that shift. So I'm just going to do a group healing because everybody seems to want healing right now. So you guys can set your intention of what you want the healing for and I'll just do group healing for everybody. Um, and then you guys can experience whatever it is you need of it. And I'm just going to go through and do that. Sophia says, healing from my son after a surgery, please. He still cannot walk. Yeah, so we'll just add this into the, the group healing. So I would just suggest breathing deep into it. Just allow the energy to shift. Allow yourself to have that deep, restful breath right into the gut. Just allow the energy to come in and flow to where you need it. I'm just going to do a little bit of grounding as well because some of you guys are really ungrounded, especially in that root chakra coming down. It's important to keep yourself grounded. Start seeing and observing things a little bit differently than what you're used to. Not everything is what it seems. So I'm in here. So I'm in the face part. So we'll just bring healing into that. So 
So I'm just going to do a shift in calibration. I do want to say this too. So if I do anything that you don't want to do, you don't have to say yes. Um, I did a Kundalini activation and I had someone already message me and say, can you take it away? So don't, you don't have to accept into anything you're not ready for. And you can ask, am I ready for this? And if not, it's okay. There'll be multiple opportunities to be able to receive it and activate it and open it. Some people aren't ready. And just tap in with yourself and ask, am I ready for this healing? Am I ready to receive this? Bring in a release to the chest. Just allow it to shift, allow it to bring in that healing that's needed. Keeping a nice deep breath. Bring in that beautiful, beautiful breath. Oh, I appreciate you guys too. Thank you so much for your beautiful words, Rachel. So coming down into the root. down in that root grounding you I'm going to come down in through the hip flexors and into the thighs Your backs feel better. <laughs> that feels good now. So we'll bring this down into the knees as well. So anyone who's got knee stuff going on. Thank you guys for the hearts and likes. You guys are awesome. And we'll just do a quick energy adjustment on those. I'm actually going to try something else too as I'm doing this. That feels good. I'll just bring this down into the, into your feet. We'll just do some adjustments there. Hello, welcome. And we'll bring energy in and out of the bottom of the feet. So like anybody who's got like uh, bone spurs and stuff like that, or the arches of your feet are sore. And then I'm just going to bring in some energy a different way for you guys to experience. There you go. I'm just going to bring in some energy through your feet. And this is all just crystalline energy, Christ energy. Yeah. Excuse me. Great job. So if you're wondering what this is, it's like as above, so below. So it's both source energy and Gaia energy at the same time. We're doing a group healing, my dear. Sammy. So we're bringing in crystalline energy and Christ energy. Good morning. Welcome. Just receive if you want to receive. You don't have to if you don't want to. So I feel it shifting energy through your bodies. Just allow that to come in. Breathe down into your gut or breathe into your body. I'm 
allowing it to come in and flow. <laughs> I'm just going to do some adjustments as that keeps working. And I'm going to do some codes as well. I'm just going to shift some necks and backs and hips. Stiffness. I also want to do an adjustment in the hearts. Yeah. You guys are awesome. I love that you can feel it so quickly too. Some people might not be able to, but some of you are feeling it really, really quick. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> you guys are so beautiful. Headache too. That's a release. Yep. That was great. Felt it go off my back and neck. Cracked pretty good. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I did a live last night on Facebook and like, I just posted on YouTube, but everyone's like, oh my gosh, this and this is better. And oh my gosh, like I move and oh my gosh, this doesn't hurt. And so it's really amazing how fast we can, I feel like throwing up. Yeah, you're just shifting, honey. I'll just ground that in a minute. I just want to go through the whole, see I'm doing the whole collective at the same time, right? So everyone is, do you do the lower back? Uh, I'm kind of like right in the middle of everyone's back, working my way down, so it'll get there. So just ground. If you feel dizzy, I command myself to ground. Anything I don't need or that's not mine, please take back to Mother Earth. And that'll help you to settle in your own energy. So I'm going to come down into that lower... Sciatic. This is all the weight you guys carry. The extra weight you feel you have to carry. Yeah, I'm in the lower back right now. Short of breath. Breathe down into your gut or take a big breath into your lungs. Hold it till you can't hold anymore. Release and then go into your gut. I need a session. <laughs> yes. Feel free to book. I'm booking up super, super quick, um, <laughs> which is usually the case anyways, but it's, it's getting more and more. I think I don't have openings till Wednesday of next week. So if you want to get in, now's your chance. Or you can come in and learn how to do this on the 28th. I have lots of people signed up already. And then that's just release the hip tension. So anywhere that you sit in a C formation, where if this is your pelvic, if you sit like this, right? So that's a C formation. We'll adjust all this so you guys can sit up straight. Just everybody take a deep, deep breath. <laughs> take a deep breath in. Now I'm just gonna correct that because the other stuff is already done. The 28th is quantum level one. So if you wanna learn how to do this stuff, <laughs> you can come in at the beginner level and learn it all. It starts at 3 p.m. Eastern. If you wanna learn, it's over Zoom. I've taught hundreds of people, so. Why do you feel heavy? That's a release. There's four levels of quantum healing. There's three levels posted on my website. The fourth one is not loaded yet because no one's been ready. But level four is like brain surgery, stem cells, skin grafts, transplants, all those fun things. Reproductive, helping people get pregnant. All the other levels are super fun too. Those psychic surgery, travel, you get your own operating room. <laughs> it's awesome. You feel sleepy? Yeah, that's a huge release. Yeah. Always breathe. Always breathe into your gut. Uh, 
Um, I don't know what that means. Oh, autism. So autism is just the brain stuff. So definitely, it's just um, there's just some stuff in the the brain that isn't calibrated, and then it has to do with the contract between most likely mom and dad and the child. Faces warm, tingly hands and legs are shaking. Wow, thank you. Yeah, if you need if you need to shift right now, if you feel like okay, I'm kind of stuck. This feels worse. Get up and walk for a second. Because when I break and reset bones and adjust bones, sometimes you have to actually get up and move to feel that shift or the crack. And then you'd be like, oh my gosh, right? Felt a hot flash and instant cooling. Yep. So get up and walk and then come sit back down. My back is cracking. So that's the adjustment. That's the adjustment happening. And we'll just keep pulling anything that you guys don't need because you guys are shifting pretty fast. It also has to do with posture as well, right? How you sit, how you show up, how you sit in like the upper part of your body as opposed to the lower part of your body. So yeah, it all, it all comes into alignment. Can I help with tinnitus? Let's just pull. So tinnitus sometimes is related to your guides as well. There's a frequency barrier sometimes, depending, I had it, um, with your guides and you wanting to connect inward with them. Um, I When I got my guide spirit of the highest of high, one hand below God wisdom, like the, it was ear piercing. I would put my headphones on to work with clients and that was what I heard. So I had to ask my friend for help to kind of get me into that. But I shift energy, energy very quickly, especially like frequencies. So like three times, four times a week, I shift frequencies to a higher level. So for me, like any frequency healing is like short, like within a couple hours, like it's, it's done. Bloating in the stomach? Absolutely. Let's do bloating. There you go. Uh, your lethargic stuff is coming from a past life, not this life. So I'm just working on anyone at the same time. So if you guys post something, I'm just working on it, the whole collective. So if you need that, you'll feel it. If you don't, then you won't feel it. Uh, my son has flat feet surgery. Will this help? Everything will help. I don't know what it's like to have flat feet, to be honest with you. I wear a size 10 shoe and I wear a size six and a half stiletto. Um, I have extremely high arches from dancing. So I don't know what it's, I can't wear Converse if, like if they're wearing, con I don't, I don't feel like it's a bad thing, but I feel like it is a, a hip thing. So I feel like there'd be a little bit of, adjustment period with it but um left ovary has been tender today i feel like you you feel it on either side depending on your cycle so that's all i'm just gonna adjust it though there you go it was too far forward can you fix my right elbow you have to remember some of these are just like really quick, short healings. So sometimes it is beneficial just to go and book a healing. There's 30 minute sessions and there's an hour session. There you go. They're just, they keep telling me stop overextending to people who don't care. You feel like a freight train hits you ground. <laughs> You're taking on too much. Um, oculate, please heal my daughter as, as she has a bad infection and I feel like they're missing something altogether with this. 
definitely coming in from past life is what they're showing me. I feel like she had like rubella in a past life and I don't, I don't know what that is. So <laughs> they're just saying it to me. So I'm just going off of that. So I feel like it came with a high fever and I feel like that's what she presents as and then it shifts her cells. I feel like this has something to do with around a sibling or someone who has a sibling. Here, try that. <laughs> Rachel says, holy smokes, I'm glowing. Yeah! <laughs> That's awesome. That's beautiful. There you go. Your little one's shifting that energy now. She feels much better, actually. She doesn't feel as warm. <laughs> so welcome. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Yeah, check her, check her temperature. She actually feels much better now. She doesn't feel so lethargic. Like she actually feels like, okay, it's time to go play. How do you learn this? I'm actually teaching a class January 28th at 3 p or, yeah, 3 p.m. If you want to come learn. I teach you the basics first and then you can go up the ladder. Most people have to come in at the ground level because I don't know what you can do. I can tap in and see what you can do. But to me, it's like if you learn Reiki from somewhere else, you still have to come in level one. It just makes it easier. Then you understand it front to back. And the classes are enough time apart for you to like go do a few sessions with other people and then come take the next one. Yep, I'm doing a class about Claire's. Um, I'm doing, it's actually changed just a little bit. I don't do Reiki anymore. I was unattuned to that. I asked my guys to take it out. Um, so I do a Claire's class, but it involves intuition, Claire's, and then evidential mediumship. And I'll just explain what that is. So evidential mediumship is being able to give five defining points of someone who's passed away to give someone else the representation. So um, on the one live um, that I did, I said, oh, he looks like Santa Claus. He's got a white beard and bushy eyebrows, a little bit of a tummy. And I said this laugh, da, 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 da. And she's like, that's 100% my dad. So it's giving the evidence of all of it. But yes, we go through all the Claire's understanding your clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, clairgustant, all of it. You can taste a menu before you go to a restaurant and go, no thanks, I'm going over here. So it, there's good things about it. I always make people try wasabi in my class and they're just, it's funny to watch their faces. So I love teaching it all. And I, it, it is so, once you understand the basics, it is so simple. Like it is not hard. But some people just need help. I needed to do all my work to open up my stuff. So I just share how I did mine with everybody else. And then they find it pretty simple. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. A-U-K? Unk? I've got a broken ankle, but not worried about that much. Hmm. They're bypassing your third eye for me to go to your ankle because your foot is a little bit off and it's in the wrong direction. So I feel like when they put the cast on, they didn't put your foot in there straight. So it feels like it turns outward. Your third eye is open. But I would, I would watch what you put in your body system. Like do a decalcification. I have one video that I do on YouTube if I ever feel like I am like kind of eh. But now I don't, I don't use it anymore. It's just frequency. Like binaural frequency. Other than that, your, your third the eyes are open. <laughs> you just don't use them. So what, what people tend to do is they separate their clairs. So the clairvoyance and clairaudience, you separate them all. And then you wonder why you don't understand it. So stop separating them. 
you have everything. It's just how to use it. People, that's the biggest thing is people don't get how to use them together as one. Whether you CC or you don't see or you know or whatever, it's all one. So it's like everyone's third eye is open. You're blocking yourself from actually doing it if you feel blocked. You don't see your guides. Well, I do. Yeah, because you're trying to CC. Here, I'll give you guys an example. This one always gets my students. Do you guys all see the pen? You can answer. You see the pen? It's, it's tangible, right? It's there. You can, you can see it. You can hear it. You can write with it, okay? Can you see the pen? <laughs> it's still there. It's still there. Just you can't, it's over here, but it's still there. So you want to CC something, even though it's still there. So you're trying to disconnect from I see it to I don't see it, but you see it. So let's, you guys want to do an exercise? You guys can see this for yourself. I do this with my clients, especially in Akashic. This is like one of the biggest ones that I do. Close your eyes. Everyone close your eyes. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Okay, so shares and likes and yeah. <laughs> okay, close your eyes. Okay. Hold out your hand in your mind's eye. Or you can hold it out in the physical. It's totally up to you. Do you I want you to see a red ball. <laughs> My guides are laughing. Do you see a red ball or do you know you're holding a red ball? Do you feel the red ball? <laughs> Can you sense the red ball? You tell me in the comments what you got. Do you see a red ball? Do you sense a red ball? Or do you know you're holding a red ball? Which one you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? See, sense, no. Beautiful. So you have your clairvoyance, clairaudience, and clairsentience. Amazing. You feel it. Okay. That's the clair knowing. You know it. That's the knowing. You see it and know it. That's a clairvoyance and claircognizance. All three. Beautiful. Holding the ball. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. I love energy. I see the red ball. Okay. So as soon as you say you don't see something, you turn it off. It's still there. It's just we're, everybody wants to separate it. How many people on this call right now, <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to be very kind and gentle to you all. How many people on this call define themselves as empaths? Feel free to put a yes or one. I don't care. You do what you want. How many people define themselves as an empath or use that as some way to define a client or a friend? Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> Good answer. Yeah. Do you know, do you know, as soon as you define yourself as that, you've literally lowered your vibration into a timeline of bullshit. Oops. Do you want to know why? Your clear feeling is a clear. It is not a condition. <laughs> it's not. Stop defining yourself as it, because that just means you are the vessel to hold everybody else's garbage. <laughs> I'm serious. Stop defining yourself as an empath. Somebody did it to make money. <laughs> Seriously, somebody did it to make money. No different than you go to the grocery store and you buy organic bananas opposed to bananas. It came from the same tree. <laughs> uh-huh, okay? So understand this. Your clear feeling is your right to feel everything. It's your choice what you want to feel. Just don't suppress it. If it's somebody else's, get rid of it at the end. Everybody who's on this call, everybody who's watching, when I do the group healing, I step inside of every single one of you. And then I step out of you. Guess how much I hold? None. I don't feel your stuff. It's yours. So don't adapt into something that's not true. <laughs> Warm and tingly. <laughs> how do you get rid of it? Just stop buying into it. Say, I disconnect. Look, um, 
I'll use my cat as an example. You can, you can use whoever you... No, don't cord cut. Don't. Because look at it this way. If I cut the cord, what happens? This side stays inside of you. So disconnect it. It's all gone. I'm not a big fan of cord cutting. I haven't cord cut in years. So here's... Look at, the, look at it this way. Pick one person that you're holding energy of or you think you are. Okay? Ask, please show me on my body where I'm holding on to that person's energy or emotion. For This is for everyone who defines themselves as empaths. Ask, where am I holding this? Where am I taking on somebody else's stuff? Now say, please disconnect it and send it back to Mother Earth. Now it's not yours to hold. You are not the vessel for everybody else's emotions. You are not the vessel to take on everybody else's crap. You're not. You're the vessel to purge your own stuff. So start disconnect. You have a client right now? You just finished with a client? Disconnect. I disconnect from Sally, Joseph, Mary, blah, 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 whatever. I disconnect. I send their energy back. It's not mine to hold. Yeah. If you cord cut, this stuff stays inside of you. Whatever you're cutting off, you're just, you're cutting it off at surface level. For me, I'm like, no thanks. This is not mine. <laughs> I don't want to keep any of your stuff. You're adopting me. <laughs> you're adorable. <laughs> I'm good, but thank you. <laughs> you guys are funny. Learning so much. I want to teach you guys every single day. This is what I do. I have a group that I, that's all I do is I go in and teach. Yeah. How many of you feel better knowing that now? Knowing something that you didn't know. You, you're blocking yourself, Tammy. You saw something and now somebody told you it's not okay to see it. I had a person comment on my post the other day. She is possessed or da 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 da. And I'm like, delete. <laughs> we all know this stuff. She's in denial. That's her choice. Sorry, I shouldn't judge her. She has things she needs to still work through. Right? Yeah. Everyone's a beacon. The thing is, when you learn this stuff and you open up your stuff, share it with other people. I'm 100%. I'll give you 100% whatever is channeled. And I can tell you this right now. There is literally only two things that I don't do that I don't teach. And that's because nobody is ready. And one of them is breaking and resetting bones. I would love to teach you all how to do that. <laughs> but everyone's in a hurry. And you can't be in a hurry when you do it. How do we end poverty contracts? Step into abundance. I grew up in Toronto, if you know where that is, Canada. I grew up with cockroaches. Every morning you'd walk in the kitchen and flick on the light and watch them all go. <laughs> it was gross. We were poor. But you have to understand, as a child, everything looks bigger than what it seems. So the first thing I did to end my contract with that nonsense was to look at it for what it was. Oh my gosh, I had a roof over my head. Oh my gosh, we had lots of food. Oh my gosh, I was so smart with math because I had to count money to go to the grocery store to get my cereal. So I changed my perception of how I viewed things as a child into my adulthood and then switched everything. And then I just stepped right into joy and gratitude. And that's how I went from where I was to where I am. And it only continues to grow. You're two hours north of Big Smoke. <laughs> I don't know where that is. <laughs> if, you, if you put like another place there, I'll give me reference. I don't know what Big Smoke means. I always, I was always short on socks. Well, that's because the dryer ate them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm still in Canada. Yeah, I live in Ontario. So I do like in-person sessions, but then I do it on here. It's all a perception of truth. What do you align with with your truth? I've seen people come to me with all of this stuff. Oh, thank you. Toronto's the big smoke. 
everything is your perception of reality. If you think and you believe, you're adapting into something else. If somebody told you something, how is it your truth? If your mom told you not to st- touch the stove, do you believe her? Most of us have touched the stove. Right? It's understanding we don't want to lower into anybody else's belief or t- we want to find our own truth. So if this doesn't resonate with you, you can go to another. I'm okay. I am really secure in my stuff. <laughs> Um, I like Greg Braden for like anything spiritual stuff. I don't follow all of them all too much. Like I don't, I really don't read other people's stuff. I've read a lot of books. Like I've read the binary code. I read the color therapy stuff and, but I don't, like I, I read hundreds of books. Um, it can be on anything and everything. It's whatever I'm guided to read. I think right now I have 200 books on my Kindle and I'll just read through whatever is there. I've read Joe Dispenza. I like his stuff, but his is more manifestation and kind of intertwining your reality. I'm actually starting an alchemy, alchemy class for the next year in April. So I'm excited to see what that kind of brings through for me and then bring that to you guys as well. So being able to share understanding alchemy. Alchemy is just what you bring to the table, right? What are you willing to bring in to share, right? So, so um, you know, if your alchemy is herbs, what can you make as a tincture to help somebody else? Like um, mustard plaster, you know, if, if you know somebody who's got bronchitis, mustard plasters are amazing because it's all natural and it draws the stuff out of your body system, right? I don't know where they teach it. I just heard it. And then someone did it on their son and he was better. So it's kind of like you're the alchemist. What do you want? You become your alchemy. You're an audio learner. Yeah. So you need those messages either here or telepathy here. So if you, if, you, um, if you write this statement, this is a statement I, I put forward for four years. It's still on my wall. I have all my clairs 100%. So then you don't try to separate. Everything will start to come in all at once. But your alchemy is whatever you want to bring. So, so you can learn something and then you can bring that in. Um, no, the Claire's class is Claire's an evidential mediumship. And then I'm going to add intuition training on top of that. So it allows you to trust that gut and bring that forward. And I, I want to bring in the surrender with that, like what surrendering means, what allowing means. So yeah, it's going to be launched. I'm just getting all the practitioners. So I have four, there's four of us coming in to teach for the next year, once a week. And it's everything you could imagine. So it's Claire's, evidential mediumship, cards, tarot, pendulum, dowsing, you name it, it's there. But I'm going to let you guys go because I actually have a client. So I love you guys and I will be on this weekend. So watch for my post. This one was kind of impromptu. Um, But I will be back. I wish you guys an amazing rest of the day. You guys are amazing. Keep going. You guys are beautiful um, and full of so much love. Sending you guys an amazing love for the rest of your day.